Hey guys, what's up? In this video I'm going to be doing a what's in my doc overview um, as I do have some applications that I think you guys um, will like and I did want to show you what's in my doc as I haven't done one of these videos in a while um, and I think you guys will find it interesting. So first off I have the Finder. Um, if you do not know what the Finder is, um, basically it is Windows Explorer for Windows. It lets you view all your files, um, store everything on your computer. You can pretty much uh, look through your whole computer using the Finder on Mac. It's pretty self-explanatory if you use a Mac. Um, next I have the App Store. I'm going to go ahead and open it up here. Um, pretty much the App Store is exactly like the App Store for iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. Um, you can scroll through it and look at apps, go ahead and download them, etc. All for your Mac. Um, and this is where I get a majority of my applications on my Mac, actually. Um, so, yeah, that is the App Store for Mac. And as you can see, it actually shows you updates. I have one update um, in a badge form, just like the iPhone. Next, I have Twitter for Mac. Um, it is a very um, streamlined interface, and I'll go ahead and open it up here. Um, basically, it looks exactly. This is a remake of the um, app Tweety, and I did have Tweety. Um, pretty much, um, it, it is a great Twitter client. Um, you can keep it open in the background, and it actually puts a little button up here in your uh, menu bar, um, showing how many tweets there are that you need to read. Um, you can go through your mentions, direct messages, lists, uh, your profile, and search. Um, and it is a very streamlined interface. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and follow me on Twitter, my Twitter link will be in the description. It is Macintosh Review. And I do post updates often. Um, that is a great place to follow me. So go ahead and follow me on Twitter in the description. But that's the app that I use, the official Twitter app from the App Store for Mac. Um, next, I have iChat. You guys probably know what this is. It's pretty much video chatting and, and AIM, essentially. Um, for instant messaging for the Mac. It's, it comes built in with the Mac. It's a great client. Um, and yeah, that's iChat, basically. iTunes, I think you guys know what it is. Apple's built-in music um, and multimedia player. Safari, I think you guys know what it is as well. Apple's built-in uh, browser. I also have Google Chrome here, which is very, very fast, I think. I think it's faster than Safari, actually. Um, but yeah, you can download that for your Mac as well. It's pretty self-explanatory. Firefox, I recently downloaded Firefox 4 actually, um, and you guys probably know what this is anyway, a web browser, but I will be doing a review on Firefox 4 for Mac and PC actually. Um, it will specifically be running on my Mac because this is an Apple channel, but uh, yeah, Firefox, it is my primary browser, my browser of choice actually. I love the add-ons and how fast it is, and I especially love the new version, it's even faster. Um, so that's my primary browser, Firefox. Next, I have Mail. Um, this is where I check all my emails from YouTube, etc. Um, and I keep, yeah, I keep the icon on my dock just for easy access, just like all these other programs. iMovie. This is uh, my actually not my primary movie editor. I think you guys know what it is as of the recent release for the iMovie for iPad. Um, but yeah, this actually is not my primary uh, movie editor. Um, I do use it for effects. It is better for effects, and I do like it. Um, but my primary movie editor for YouTube and video editor is actually ScreenFlow, um, as you can see right here. ScreenFlow is what I'm using to record this uh, video right now. And basically what it is is a screen recorder that you can record audio, record video, etc. And it provides a very easy interface to edit and just upload to YouTube. Um, so I could do a video on that if you guys want me to. Um, so just leave a comment if you want me to, but that is my primary video editor and recorder on my computer or Mac at least. It's not for PC, it's only for Mac, just to let you know. Um, next, system preferences, basically the control panel of Mac. Next, I have Word for typing up documents because I do have to do work every once in a while. Um, and I think you guys know what this is. Basket Mania, actually, I'll go ahead and open up here. It is actually a great game. Um, I did a review on this on my other channel, but pretty much, um, let me mute it here because I know the, the volume is going to come on. Uh, settings. No settings. No volume, I mean. But basically, it is a great game here from the App Store. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is click the ball and aim and release on your mouse. And uh, you can score points. My high score up there, as you can see, is 50. And this game, I like it because it's simple. It keeps me entertained. Free in the App Store, I believe. Um, and, yeah, you guys can go and check it out. I mean, this is pretty much the gist of it. There is another mode where you have to make the most shots 
in a certain amount of time um, rather than just free shooting. Um, but this is a great game from the App Store, um, and that's the gist of it, basically, so I'll go ahead and quit. Next, I have FaceTime. I think you guys know what this is. Um, I have it on my iPod Touch currently, as well as my Mac here. Um, and I do actually FaceTime more on my Mac um, than anything. Um, so, yeah, that is FaceTime. I think you guys know what that is. Um, and, yeah. Uh, next, I have Visual Boy Advanced. That is actually a GBA emulator for Mac. Um, if you want me to make a video on that, I will probably do it on my other channel, so you can check that out. Um, but it is a great emulator. Next, I have Ninjump Deluxe. Um, pretty much, um, I did a video on this on my other channel as well. Let me mute the game as well. Um, so, options, sound off, music off. Um, basically, this game came out for Mac and... Er, iPod Touch, iPhone, and iPad. All you need to do is hit the space bar um, to go ahead and kill all of these objects. And uh, yeah, you just basically avoid them and kill the ones, kill the bullets that are fired at you. And it is a very addicting game. I think it's 99 cents in the App Store um, for Mac, but it is worth it. Um, and it is a great game. This is the gist of it, as you can see here. So I'll go ahead and quit out of that. And lastly, I have Xcode. Xcode, I don't usually use, but it is the developer's application for developing iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch apps. And the reason I have this is because I used it to actually enable the hidden gestures on my iPad, which I will be making a video on soon. Um, but yeah, Xcode is, is a good developer's tool if you want to make an app for the iPhone. Um, so yeah, that's what's in my doc. Um, in terms of stacks, I have applications, downloads, and trash. Um, but that's what's in my doc, guys. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and rate thumbs up for more. As well as follow me on Twitter, visit my website, and like me on Facebook in the description. All of that really helps me out, and the more you guys do that, the more videos I can actually make for you guys on my Mac and on my iPod Touch, iPhone, and iPad. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. Again, uh, follow through on my links, and be sure to subscribe and write thumbs up, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.